and midweek we like visiting with our friends from the Blank Park Zoo to find out what kind of creatures they're going to introduce you to here this morning and I've brought a very active little animal over this morning. Yes, this is uh, Jill the ferret and ferrets are very curious animals and they just love to, you know, they're so flexible and they love just to sort of and they're very odorific. Go around yep. and discover things. And the, yeah, they have a, a scent gland. And of course, ferrets that are in the pet trade or whatever have been descented. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but they still sort of smell. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Very yeah. neat. Now, what will you compare a ferret to? A, well, a yeah. Or? Well, yeah. Um, it, you know, they're they're domesticated from the European polecat. And uh, the reason we have them at the zoo is they have a conservation story. Um, there is something called the black-footed ferret in the United States. Right. And the black-footed ferret almost went extinct because what they ate uh, almost went extinct. Prairie dogs, right? So oh, it takes right. like 100 prairie dogs to feed a, a, a black-footed ferret for a year. And when all the prairie dogs went away, so did the uh, black-footed ferret. Now, a prairie dog's a little bigger than a ferret, isn't it? Uh, yeah, they're yeah. a little bit bigger, a yeah. little bit fatter, yeah. yeah so they yeah. still take them down, they though. still take Tough them guys. down. Tough yeah. guys, mm -hmm. I guess. <laughs> How come we don't hear of any football team known as a ferret? Ferret, 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 ferret. Yeah, there we go. That's It'd a make good. a lot more sense. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, so you should have a bunch of these over at the zoo, don't you? Yeah, we got... A, we got Tell Probably everybody the latest uh, on what you named some of these, because I think that's pretty Well, they named them, yeah, Friends characters. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, after we have to tap into Chandler, different so yeah. sources, sure. Yeah. You have a number of these guys at the zoo? Yeah, yeah, it, yep. They go out to you know different places, and uh, they each need a day off now and then, so we have to have a whole bunch of. So them. We have a whole troop yeah. of yeah. them. So there you go. So that's perfect. All right. So what else is going on at the zoo? Well, you know, Night Eyes wrapped up. We had a record-breaking Night Eyes. So really? we just want to thank everyone for coming out. We had great weather, and uh, and then also uh, one of our keepers got some video of our monkeys, and we gave um, some broccoli stalks to one of our monkeys, uh, to our monkeys, and there's Annika right there. And she just didn't know what to think. She was jumping on the broccoli. <laughs> now, is this trying to destroy it or just having fun? I think she's just having fun. Don't like, play with what your food, is this? Kid. Now, they, they don't get broccoli on a normal basis. So, uh, you know, she just uh, jumped up and down. They have her joy. Fun. Yeah. That is cool. That so the animals are place. still active this time animals of year. Animals are active obviously. this time of year. And obviously, when it gets the colder out, they're. Probably a little more active than they are in, you know, hot August day. So now, when it's rainy like this, are there any animals that don't come out outside? Or well, yeah, I mean, when it gets colder, you know, some of the African animals have to stay in, like the giraffe or whatever. Um, but uh, you know, we we did a lot of uh, remodeling in the zoo, and uh, you know, like rhinos, you can see them any time of the year indoors. You can see the the tortoises and, and the penguins when it gets too cold out and that sort of thing. So there's still a lot to do uh, this time of the year at the zoo. Yeah, so the zoo is open year-round. Year-round, so 10 that, to 4, yep. Keep that in mind. So if you need something to do even on a rainy morning like today, it wouldn't be bad. There's a out. lot to see indoors at the zoo. So And it is a great zoo, great zoo too. Yeah. Do you have any activities coming up? I know you said you're winding up uh, night eyes, but do you have any yeah, well, fall and, and winter and activities? Uh, we have our fall uh, classes, our Zoo Tots classes and Zoo Tots cooking classes. You can check into those. And then looking forward to December, we have uh, Santa come to the zoo. Oh, that's right. He has a couple of reindeer he brings along with him. And, so that'll be a good time at the zoo. More exciting things coming up if people want to stay on top of what is happening at the zoo. What's the best place to go? Blankparkzoo.com. Easy enough. Just that yeah. simple. Do the zoo any time of year. Jill, Wonderful. you kind of calm down. That's good. <laughs> a little hunchback going on there. <laughs> yeah, just in time for Halloween. Perfect. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, thank you so much. Yes.